What to do y'all, it's your girl Makeup and Travel and for today's video, girl is happy. I am happy because I finally got my grubby hands on my Mel Thompson and Sydney Grace Tiny Marvels palette. This was the one palette that broke my no buy again. Um, I just really wanted to support Mel. I hadn't supported her in our first collaboration because of my no buy and I did not want to lapse on not supporting her again as well as I was very intrigued by the color scheme and I just felt inspired overall. So I decided to go ahead and pick this baby up on its launch date and I can't remember the exact launch date but I received this today the 13th and this will be going up tomorrow the 14th which is Friday. Um, I will be showing you guys a tutorial on this look. It's a pretty subtle look, especially for me, but if you see the inside of this palette, which I will be showing you guys very, very soon, then you'll understand why, because it's a pretty subtle palette because it is half neutral, half colorful, which makes sense because that's pretty much Mel's vibes. I don't wanna um, regurgitate any of what Mel has said for this palette, so I will have her intro um, video, or not intro, her announcement video linked down below. I will also try and maybe link down a couple of her tutorials as well. Um, I watched various tutorials before I decided to actually pick this baby up because she sent this along with Sydney Grace to a lot of varying um, influencers, both in varying um, shades, um, complexions, and just techniques overall. I will say that I did not see anybody my complexion that had it on uh, YouTube so that's my only kind of qualm I felt like I didn't have anybody my complexion to really see what was going on with this palette and I'm not saying like they need to send it to everybody's complexion no man um, I saw enough through Instagram and other people that I truly trust in but me being a YouTuber, me being curious, I wanted to test it out on my complexion, obviously, with my techniques to see if this baby works or not. Um, so I'm going to stop blabbering. I'm going to show you guys the um, packaging. So this is really, really pretty packaging. Let's autofocus it, shall we? Very pretty packaging. And the back, you get all of the ingredients and everything. The ingredients and everything is really in bold face and the, pa the actual box packaging is the exact same thing as you see um, that I just showed you. And these are the colors. So you definitely get some neutrals, but you definitely get some colors as well. So what I'm going to do is actually go ahead and swatch this for you guys. I find that swatches are helpful to see the color scheme separate from how it looks in the palette. For me, that helps to see if I'm actually inspired by the palette. It also shows me just what the colors are actually going to look like on my complexion. I do not use swatches to determine if the palette's going to be good or not because as a lot of people say, swatches don't mean that the palette's going to actually blend and apply beautifully on your eyes. So. I would caution you if you're going to just watch the swatches part and then decide until at least wait to see my tutorial and see other people's tutorials. Don't just purchase this palette just based on one tutorial or one person's opinion because my opinion may not match up with your opinion or somebody else that you trust. So enough. Okay, I'm going to do this just like I always do, which I go row by row by row. I'm going to start off in this corner because this is actually the top shade and we're just going to go by that. So the first shade is web. And this is like a kind of satin, I would say more of a satin white silver, more of a white shade than silver on my complexion. In the pan it kind of looks more champagne-y though. Then we have Tree Hopper, which is the lightest brown. It has a very strong peach undertone to it. And honestly, it could be mistaken for like a camel shade, easily. Then we have the shade Fire Butts, which is a beautiful, Shim it's a beautiful shimmer. I would say more metallic actually and this is a silver with a strong green undertone. It's really really pretty. Then we have Walking Stick which is the mid-tone brown in this palette. To me it has like a green yellowy undertone um, 
and it's really really pretty I actually used this in my look today last in this row we have this shade scarab or scrab scrab child I don't know <laughs> and this is another shade I used today and this is just a typical blue brown pigment it's beautiful I actually feel like it's not a brown finish I feel like it's actually more of a purple but beautiful regardless and this is another metallic first shade in the second row we have the shade flutter by and this is a beautiful beautiful pinky peachy shade and this is also another look that or shade that I have in my look today then we have BB which is an insane metallic gold I'm not a huge gold person but let me tell you I'll be finding a way to apply this to my eyeballs then we have the shade mantis and the shade mantis is a really really pigmented beautiful seafoam green I really enjoy the shade and I love how pigmented it is it's really gonna pop on my complexion and just the actual shade is just gonna pop on my complexion then we have Meadowhawk which is a beautiful beautiful metallic it is like a pinky pinky goldish metallic in my opinion very pretty it's in my inner corner today last on the second row is love bug and this is like a really really pretty plum ish shade light plum lavender that <laughs> light plum this is a really pretty lavender shade Alrighty, we're into the last row and we have Jew jewel bee which i guess is more lavender than the shade i just called lavender because it's a lot more white based and all that jazz so yeah this is lavender this is a light plum we're gonna stick with that light plum then next we have marvel this is another really pretty metallic the difference between marvel and meadowhawk is meadowhawk has that gold to it whereas marvel seems to have like more of a silvery hue to it then we have death moth which is another brown this is the deepest brown in this palette and yeah very very pretty i would say this is more of the neutralist brown that's in the, between the three different browns that i've shown you thus far then we have bugaboo bugaboo is like a really pretty burgundy shade very very pretty burgundy shade i have this on my eyes today and then the last shade in this palette is spider and spider is of course the deepest shade in this palette and also a shade that i have on my eyes today this to me is more of a cooler toned brown but just really good just for deepening up your look so these are the shades i will have b-roll of all the shades scrolling across the screen right now in case you want to see a little bit of a closer look um this is definitely a little bit more leaning towards neutral than i kind of envisioned but that being said i am still very much inspired by this palette i still cannot wait to do some fun looks with this palette and i will be doing a three looks one palette with this palette um pretty much nothing else to say if you're interested in seeing my first impression tutorial then just keep watching it and if you are interested in seeing the three looks one palette please do go ahead subscribe because i will be doing it this month if i can get it up next week i will do my best to get it up next week so yeah if you want to see how i got this tutorial and hear some of my first kind of impressions this is not a review but if you want to hear my first impressions and see my first tutorial then let's just get to it okay guys so as i'm sure you have already seen by the intro um i am here to do a first impressions on a new palette um i'm pretty sure 
but this is the only palette that's coming to me. I'm pretty sure I've been good. I don't think I've done anything else damage wise. And I'm just gonna go get into it. I'm pretty sure I babbled like an idiot um, at the beginning. And I just, I don't feel the need to babble. I am gonna go ahead and prime with my Nomad Cosmetics eyeshadow base. This is one of my go-to bases, but I have two or three that I'm going through and I like all of them, so yeah. And I will be doing a three looks one palette with this palette along with another one. So just stay tuned if you are interested um, because I will be doing it. And there we go. So I've been seeing a combination of various different looks. I don't really know what I'm gonna do, but I'm gonna have some fun with it. So I think I wanna try and use walk-in stick. I saw Kelsey Brianna J use, wait, did I point to the right shade? This one right here. I saw Kelsey Brianna J use this shade and it looked like it was actually her skin tone. So I'm intrigued to see what it is on me. Okay, so it's definitely like a brown. It's like a, I would say like a cool toned brown. But is it cool toned? I feel like there's a yellowish hint to it. I don't know, but it's a cool shade. So I'm definitely happy I'm using it. And this is just a really big, fluffy, Royal and Land Nickel brush. Then I'm gonna go ahead and jump into Flutter B, which is this beautiful, beautiful pinky shade. And I'm just slowly building up this shade. If you've never used Sydney Grace shadows, um, they do have kick up. This is my first Sydney Grace palette. So I am just really excited, but the pigmentation is still what I remember. Um, so keep that as you will. Okay. I think I'm just gonna go ahead and use a little bit of a smaller, maybe not that brush, I'm gonna use a smaller blending brush just to really get into my nooks and crannies of my crease. I feel like I wasn't able to really get into my inner crease with that brush. This is just an e.l.f. brush and it can compact a little bit better than that previous one. Yeah, that's a lot better. Okay, we're just gonna let that go. Not about to deal with that today. <laughs> okay, so next, I think I'm gonna go into the shade Bugaboo, which is the dark purpley shade. And I think I'm gonna do a halo. I don't do halo eyes very often, which is not my forte, but I think we're gonna work on it. I did clean off my brush, in case you are wondering. And I'm just gonna go into the Flutter by shade just to bring that shade a little bit higher up. I wanna make sure that it still shows in my final look. Yep. And I'm just gonna keep going back and forth between these two shades until I get the desired look. I 
like that. A very subtle blend between those two shades. Nice, nice. Okay. So, I don't want there to be a really harsh um, crease. Not really hard to crease. I don't want it to be a really harsh like lid shade. So I'm just gonna take a brush. I'm not gonna put any NYX glitter glue down. And I am going to use the shade Scrub. I'm gonna go ahead and use this shade. And this, from what I can remember seeing in other videos, it's like the MAC Blue Brown. Blue Brown. Yeah, that's the right shade. Blue-green? No, blue-brown. Either way, this baby's going on my eye. And as you can see, it's applying beautifully. I don't even think I need any glitter glue at all. And I'm not taking too much because these babies are pigmented. I just want to really blend this out as best as possible. Then I'm just going back into that brush where I had the dark purple shade and just subtly blending as best as possible. So pretty good, pretty subtle, but really nice colors on the eyes right now. Um, just Okay, next I'm gonna work on my lower lash line and I think I wanna go a little bit darker than Next we're gonna work on my lower lash line and I wanna go a little bit darker down there. So what I'm gonna do is go into Spider, which is the darkest brown in this palette and really the darkest shade. Um, and I'm just gonna put that right against my lower lash line. If I was one for lashes, I'd probably stamp this on my upper lash line, but since I'm not, we're just gonna keep it pushing. Um, then what I wanna do is actually, I think I'm gonna stay basic. I think I'm gonna be a basic girl today. Okay, I'm gonna go into, what is it, Bugaboo, which is the dark purple. And we're gonna blend this out. Super simple, super basic look thus far. We are not done though. We are going to do my inner corner highlight. And for that, I want Meadow Hawk, which is this really pretty um, goldy pink shade. I like it a lot and I think that's it. I think I'm gonna keep it at that. So what I'm gonna do is hop off camera. I'm gonna recreate this look. I'm also gonna put liner and mascara on and then I will come back after I've also put a lip product on because I didn't know what I was gonna do with my eyes and then I will show you guys the finished look. Alrighty guys, so this is the finished look. Overall, I think this look came out really, really nice. Um, and I'm happy with it. I also made sure to really hopefully fluff out my lashes and in, um, uh, in the spirit of using Mel's palette because her lashes are always like, ba-bam. So I tried to really ba-bam my lashes. Um, everything else that's on my face will be linked down below. It's all the normal. So you guys will know if you are usually, um, a fan of watching my videos. Um, and yeah, I did enjoy the application of this palette. If you have tried Sydney Grace's um, eyeshadows before, I think that this 
eyeshadow palette applies like any other Sydney Grace eyeshadow palette. I will look forward to really diving into some of these more colorful shades um, and just kind of challenging myself a little bit more. I will say that definitely this palette is a lot more neutral than I tend to do, especially when it comes to palettes that are half neutral, half colorful. I don't tend to have a lot of palettes like that in my collection. So this is really challenging me, but in a different way. So I'm very happy to have this. I am so happy for you, Mal. I'm happy that they were able to like restock this but like with a pre-sale kind of situation so if you are interested in this palette after my video after watching other people's videos i will hopefully have where to find this palette linked down below so that you can pre-order it um it did not take me long to get this palette so i'm assuming when they have the um stock reordered and all that jazz it won't take you guys long either um but that's pretty much it i don't have anything else to say i hope you guys enjoyed this video and as always y'all it'll be it has been